when we first started, bro, like I was thugging you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know that little picture where it got like Amazon guy in the front of the garage right. and all that, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like in, in five years, when I turn this into a hundred, two hundred million dollar business, I'm gonna have to they're gonna have to add me to that joint because <laughs> so when we first started Happy Ice, I knew that I needed somewhere to make the product. So I had found a town home in Van Nuys, and it was a three-story what joint. Is that? Van Nuys is in a valley near North Hollywood. Okay. And so I had found a, a town home in, in the garage, bro, is where I basically set up a whole laboratory. You know what I'm saying? It was like a garage and it had a door and an office. Yeah. Yeah, well, not an office, but you like the part where you would like normally put your washer and dryer. Yeah. We <laughs> we turned that area into like an office space where cups and all that. And then the garage, we had the garage as like where we made the product. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And that's how we was thugging for the first year or two you get what i'm saying so you make it there load up the truck Bro, and then we was pulling the truck up to the driveway at the crib loading it up with ice pulling off like neighbors complain it was whatever bro we was yeah. making ice in the middle of the night all that stuff bro and like when we first started we didn't even know really what business hours was we was like we was mocking somebody uh the store next door business hours 10 to 10 so me and my wife we had to wake up at seven in the morning every day get down here to get a parking spot you feel me yeah. and we was working the truck from 10 to 10, 12 hours, right. get back. I got to make flavors. She's stickering cups with her hand. We going off like three hours of every day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like me and her really was grinding. Like that's why for sure, I, I, I she's the only person ever I, I would ever like spend the rest of my life with for sure. Like mm. she was in a, she was in the trenches with me, bro. Like we was really off of three hours every day grinding and really built something that's like for real now. Like this is a real thing, you know? Dang, I feel like I'm talking to Ray Kroc. I feel like I'm interviewing Ray Kroc before <laughs> McDonald's. You feel me? Because <laughs> your vision is so big and just talking to you and uh, about the business and the concept, it's like you get it. 